Udzinika. Burdos aggression a little bit less consistent, I guess, because if you can snipe the warp prism, it's like sniping the pylon in the, in the, the olden days, you know, in Harvest One. Sure. But now it's just, if you can get the warp prism, the pylon is way too slow now. Uh, so I, I just like that dynamic. Now going into our next match, it's Hush against Bravo. And um, we're going to have to see you know, wh what exactly um, we're going to be getting here from these two players. Uh, it looks like right now, Bravo, uh, a lot of confidence here from Samsung. But again, you know, best of one, guys. Anything can happen. Yeah, and the interesting thing about these two players is Hush is mainly a PvP sniper. And look at this. Oh, Freshly. my God. It's the Korean casters against the foreign casters. Oh, man. There's a second match going on over here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I, I'm not going to lie. I like. I might as well have just thrown a dart at, at a board. I have no idea who's going to win yeah. this. I just went for it's, Hush. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to guess, man. Okay, our map is your arena. Let's do this. Hush versus Bravo. And we are on. Over here is Hush. And in the bottom left, in the blue, is Bravo. Hmm. Bravo, we're going to start with the early depot out here to block we've, this. We've seen a lot of people mess around with this. And um, I think it's better than it is worse. I mean, I, I still don't have yeah. a, a firm opinion on it, especially no. for the first depot. I don't think there's anything wrong with blocking it off at some point in time. I don't know if it's great to do um, with your initial structure. Now, I guess he makes a barracks next to that. Is that is that the play? No, I think it's just to block off any adepts that may come across. No, no, but what, what, what I'm getting at is, like, where does he make his next... Uh, or does uh, he, oh, I no, he goes for a quick command center, I guess. Yeah. Uh, not sure where the... Oh, get going. wrecked! Get wrecked, probe! <laughs> he waited Did you see that probe? Yeah. That was so cool by uh, by Bravo, actually. He waited until the probe was about to get next to that supply depot and obviously saw it on the mini-map and uh, just went for that. This SCV is really sneaky now. Oh, my God. There's Look no what he's going to do. to go all the way around. Look at this. Yes, there is Valdez. Yes, there is. Oh, no, there isn't. He's going to make the barracks over there. Well. I thought he was going to hide a barracks. Sorry, guys. I was so hyped about that, but it did not turn out to be the case. I think he's just waiting to go for a scout. Make sure it goes in and dodges oh, any you know what? or anything. I, I see why he sends it around, too, because he can check for any kind of weird, like, uh, proxies. Yeah, it's, there's that, and uh, Hush is not going to see the SCV for a long time. He may even be able to sneak into the main. This is going to get really funky, actually. You get to see if Bravo wants to reveal it. Looks like he does. Just wants to go for the scout, wants to play it safe. Yeah, I think he's just checking everywhere uh, to see what he can possibly find. Now, it's three racks against a one base, uh, <laughs> one base Protoss, so... It's actually going to be up to Hush to try to do some damage very quickly. It does not appear, at least so far, that he is at all interested in making a Nexus. In fact, he's getting a Stargate now. Yeah, the second the SCV does move away, uh, goes for that Stargate. And the SCV has gone back and checked. Let me make sure he did see that. Yes, he did. And uh, funnily enough, that probe has just been attacking the depot the entire time. So forcing a repair, actually, out of Bravo early on in this game, but gets no scout. Well, uh, we're going to go back to traditional rules in uh, Protoss versus Terran. Terran can always figure out a way to fast expand, but Protoss can always figure out a way to screw Terran over for doing that. We'll see if it's going to be the case this time around. Yep, should be an Oracle coming out here. Second that Stargate does finish. Has got yep, I a, think so. Uh, yeah, there it is. He's got a Nexus coming out behind this. problem with this depot is it's good against the Depths, but not so good against Stalkers. Now, um, you got to be careful when you're trying to defend against this. Uh, you know, Terran has to hold off on two different locations. And uh, if he wants to, he can actually come up here and try to combo this whole army together uh, with keeping some of those Marines in the back because the army together here can possibly take out that uh, that depot and actually get up here into the main. So he sees the Oracle. That's a good 
a little alarm there uh, for Bravo to try to get ready. He is making an eBay, but the eBay is not done. Oh, he gets the depot. Is there a bunker? Can you check for me? Is there a yeah, bunker? Yeah, Let me see. There is a bunker at the natural. But it's not in a good location. Yeah, and uh, not in the main. There's only three Marines here at the natural. This is his place to go. Here he goes, getting a bunch of kills already. Three SCVs to go down. Looping around now. No second Oracle was made, by the way. Oh, he oh. got a late beacon, Tasteless. Tempest time. <laughs> Check your clocks, guys. It's Tempest time. It's Tempest o'clock. <laughs> okay, so um, the reason why you can do this is because you can poke the uh, expansion as well as uh, begin to harass the main with the Tempest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to be very hard. He, he's identified the build also by Bravo. Is uh, very tech list like techless build, I guess, if that's the way to say it, where he doesn't get a lot of tech early. He gets just a lot of Marines. Tech, techless, that's my... Uh, that's the, my, nemesis. That would be my, 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 my newbie uh, half-cousin caster, techless, <laughs> who's just not quite as good. Who's <laughs> just... Oh, man. Techless just had a had a squeakier voice and was redhead and poor uh, techless, yeah, man. poor Techless man. He was so nothing sad. compared to his older, cooler, yeah, he was taller cool guy. cousin I mean, Tasteless. Nothing against him, but he just really couldn't stand up to that's the real right. Tasteless. That's right. That's um, right. So we have um, we have the Tempest now coming out here. Yeah, that's a nice scan. Uh, identifying what the follow-up is. Good tagging. He wants to know exactly where the Marines are so he knows how much he can poke. But I think the Tempest, if he just gets it over to the far left, I think he just starts hitting SCVs. And uh, there's not much Terran can do about it. Keep in mind, because he went Command Center first and three barracks after that, his tech, especially his Starport tech, is going to be a lot later. So the Tempest exactly. will just always be out in larger numbers. Yeah, the Tempest coming in here is going for the... Turret. I'm not sure about that. That yeah. can be easily repaired. I think he needs to hit the workers, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he definitely needs to be hitting the workers, that's for sure. He's never going to kill that turret. Uh, okay, ser seriously, he needs to target down the SCVs. This like, is actually bothering me. He could force a repair, but that's not nearly as much damage as he could get. What you do, here's here's how you prioritize it. Okay, there you go. You hit SCVs first. When the SCVs run away, you hit the uh, turret, and then you hit the SCVs to repair the turret. There you go, guys. I've solved it for you. Yep. Um, we got the Tempest out here. By the way, six skates. Six skates behind oh, this. I thought you said skates. I was like, what? Six skates. <laughs> <laughs> Skater Protoss. Um, okay. Well, he's caused a problem. Let's see if this drop can do anything. The Tempest. Okay, that's really bad. That's you don't <laughs> well, just... I, I suppose he's got enough sentries, but not enough to stop a drop. He's dropping in right over here. Oh, and it doesn't look like Protoss is ready. And there's an Artosis Pylon! Oh, no, no, no. man, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> we got a bunch of Stalkers warping in. And the Mothership Corps is going to get sniped. Oh, oh boy. man. This drop is Rick and Havoc, man. Those Tempests don't have anything compared to these Marines. Oh, my God. And, uh, I mean, this is sentries versus marines. Marines with medevacs. Although, I gotta say, the sentries are doing a little bit better than I actually thought they would. I guess that really highlights how good Guardian Shield is. Yeah. And is going to eventually push this out, but... 13 probes are killed. I think Hush can win with a counter here. Get that thing powered like yesterday, man. Mm. Well, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to come across the map and essentially end... Bravo's life here. I mean, he's got a pylon with a gateway over here, but it has been scouted. I think you're supposed to bring the Tempest around and hit the front. I'm not sure, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's doing. That's not good. This that's is the probe, but he's yeah. still got the pylon over there. Yeah, but he's going to warp in and it's going to die. Watch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Unlucky Widowmine. Unburrowing at the wrong time. But yeah, you're right. He's yep. just gonna siege over here. Gonna tag a bunch. I think he can actually do Marines. this. I think he can do this. Let's see though. The force fields have to be pretty damn good. He's better, got better a lot than of that. Energy there on those sentries. Pulls the SCVs. It's time to pull back his Protoss here. Really nice force fields. A huge portion of that turret army is behind the force fields, but now it does go down, and that Tempest is taking a lot of damage. He's gonna lose that one Tempest. It looks like, and it does go down. More stalkers being warped in here. That Widowmine really helped out with those warpins. And it looks like we should see Bravo come in here and possibly win this game. Supply right now, 52 to 89. 
Yeah, he's sticking out nearly the entire army of Hush. Look at the army supply, 66 to 12. Um, this is simply a regroup and attack again, especially while that Protoss army is out on the map, and just try to end the game here. Okay. Um, I got to say, there's a lot of miss here on both sides. A lot, of, But I think ultimately, Bravo is just doing a better job. This death ball is going to be too much. And we should be seeing Hush tap out as we go on into... Uh, no, what am I saying, actually? Because... Yeah, yeah GG. that's it. GG, Bravo wins. And therefore, Samsung wins. Congratulations, Samsung. And a great game. Whoa! Intense drinking. Whoa. Whoa. Calm down, Bravo. Bravo really wanted all of the Powerade. <laughs> okay, great game there. And uh, that was actually quite an interesting end game. Yep. Congratulations, Bravo. I was really impressed with that. So Samsung beat CJ. That's pretty huge. 3-1. A lot of it came down to Hero not essentially uh, doing his job against Reality. The big upset. Reality able to take that win. Bravo knows it. Bravo saying, hey, I was uh, able to do my job here. So were you, Reality. Good job. And uh, it really came down to that one drop. Hush really just missed that one. The drop comes in, well, kills man. the pylon, kills the probes, Lo almost all of the army. Lo losing that pylon there was pretty big. Also, the force fields were not exactly um, perfect yeah. back there. Uh, yeah. He didn't have a good place to warp in. Uh, the Widow Mines were doing damage as the other weapons ha uh, occurred. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, there were a couple other weird moments there. Like, when Hush didn't quite go for the SCVs immediately, he was, like, shooting that turret for what seemed like forever. Yeah, that and... He brought the Tempest all the way back to his main base when the drop was occurring. I feel like he had to rely on warp ends there, but maybe he thought his army was going to lose and he needed the Tempest. But he it's could a have tough done call. so much damage with those Tempests and maybe stayed in the game at least instead of going for the all-in. Guys, we're only halfway done today. We have another match here uh, that's going to be coming up in a little bit. Here are your results for today so far. Yeah, be all able to take that win over Solar. Uh, doing a nice job there. I feel like that was an upset as well, but you called it tasteless, got that prediction in. And then Dear Reality and Bravo get three in a row. And a uh, big upset there with Hero losing that game too. Kind of a yeah. weird day for CJ. It was nice to see Biel play well, but Ragnarok, Hero, and Hush, uh, you know, I got to say, really like, you know, D-minus performance.